John Dalton He was an English chemist, physicist, and meteorologist. He was born on September 6, 1766, in Eaglesfield, Cumberland, England. His father's name was Joseph Dalton, and mother's name was Deborah Greenup. His father was a poor weaver. His family was Quaker, a member of a Christian movement, whose ideology was derived from a verse in the New Testament. At the age of 15, he helped his older brother Jonathan to run a Quaker school in Kenda Cumbria. From 1787, he kept a meteorological diary, and through his lifetime, he recorded over 20,000 weather observations over a period of 57 years. Sometime around 1790, he planned to pursue law or medicine, but since he was a dissenter, a member of an organization that opposed the Church of England, he was not allowed to study at English universities. In 1793, he moved to Manchester, where he was appointed as a teacher of mathematics and natural philosophy at the new college. In 1793, Meteorological Observations and Essays, his first book of essays on meteorological topics based on his own set of observations was published. In 1794, he authored a paper titled Extraordinary Facts Relating to the Vision of Colors, one of his early works on color perception of the eye. In 1800, he gave an oral presentation titled Experimental Essays that dealt with information on his experiments on gases and the study of the nature and chemical makeup of air in relation to atmospheric pressures. In 1801, his second book titled Elements of English Grammar was published, and in the same year, he discovered Dalton's Law, an empirical law coined by him, related to the gases. By 1803, his experiments on the pressure of a mixture of gases came to be known as the Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. During the early 1800s, he formulated a theory on thermal expansion and the heating and cooling reaction of gases with respect to expansion and compression of air. In 1803, he authored an article for the Manchester Literary and Philosophical Society in which he presented a chart on atomic weights, which was one of the first atomic charts to be created at that time. In 1810, he authored an appendix for the book, A New System of Chemical Philosophy, in which he elaborated on atomic theory and atomic weight. He did not marry all his life and lived a modest life and socialized with a few friends from the Quaker group. In 1837, he suffered a stroke, and the following year, he suffered another one that left him with a speech impediment. After he suffered a third stroke, at the age of 77, he fell off from his bed, and his attendant found him dead when he came to serve him tea. If I have succeeded better than many who surround me, it has been chiefly, may I say almost solely, from universal assiduity," said John Dalton.